My name is Leslie Wyrick, and I am a suicide prevention specialist with Oak Lawn. I came to this work in a way that no one ever really wants to. I lost my son Austin to suicide on September the 10th of 2016. He was only 20 years old when he took his life. My son Austin was kind of an old soul. It's kind of who he was. He loved people. He loved children. He had a lot of younger cousins and just loved it when the family would get together for reunions or holidays. He was always playing with the kids, which I think says a lot about his character and who he was. Our son Austin worked very hard at whatever he did. He gave 110%. He left nothing on the field. He gave it his all. He actually played football and ran track all four years he was at Goshen High School. He put a lot of pressure on himself with his grades. He, he took weighted honors. He graduated above a 4.0 in the top 3% of his class. He went on to receive $26,000 in renewable academic scholarships, uh, which allowed him to play football and attend Wabash. What we realized is, you know, as we look back, we see that Austin really battled depression as a young boy, but he masked his depression so much in perfectionism. The face of depression looks so different on everyone, and everyone handles it differently, everyone handles anxiety differently, but for our son, he put this tremendous pressure on himself to be perfect. And that ultimately is what we feel like led to his decision to take his life. He was driven by that perfectionism to a point that humanly possible, we can't make that mark. And um, it took its toll on his mental health. And so it was very, very important to us as people of faith that we share this story to help other families and adults as well. Suicide impacts us all all ages, all races, all walks of life. And so we knew that with our story, we had an opportunity to have an impact and let Austin's legacy be one of suicide prevention. And over the past three and a half years, I've had the opportunity to speak to thousands and thousands of young people and not only give them a message of hope and how to hang on, but actually practical tools for what to do when the stressful hard times come in life. I've learned a lot about grief over the past four and a half years since we've lost Austin. And everyone grieves differently. And everyone's grief is unique. But for me and for our family, we knew we needed to, to use our grief in a positive way. So one of the things that I tell everyone is, you know, if I waited until I was no longer a grieving mom to speak, I would probably never speak. I'm always going to be a grieving mom. I'm always gonna probably tear up when I tell our story. But in that grief, I have found purpose. And I realize that in our grief, in sharing our grief, allows other families to come forward and share their stories with us. And that's where the real healing begins.